Lake Simcoe. You either love her or hate her. There's no in between. It's a deep clear water lake with monster fish who feed on herring and gobies to get so big. Now, I'm not going to make a big long video here. I've honestly been having a hard time. What well, everyone else is telling me how the bite is so hot. I'm just marking fish and watching them pass me by. I got a bucket. No, I got a bucket, man. I'm good. I do. I got a bucket. It's good. It's good. I'm good. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. If I leave it here, I'll come get it if I change my mind. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Is there any beer in here? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Finally, I decided something had to change. I'd been ignoring my, quote, rules that I follow when fishing, and that's what needed to change. Rule one, never leave fish to find fish. We moved around too much. There were fish in the spots that we were at. We had not exhausted our options for these fish before moving. Today. I'm setting up the hut and not moving. Rule two, fish the entire water column. Don't limit yourself to one single presentation. All the other times, we'd only bounce bottom. We are going to try these little goby baits. This time, I'm gonna work the entire column. Rule three, fish can sense any change in their environment. Now, this rule was actually stolen from Goldpizer. It's from a recent seminar that he gave at the Winter Ice Expo. Instead of hooting and hollering with baits, you know, smashing them on bottom, ripping blades, I decided to go a little bit more subtle and try some soft plastics. There we go. Yes. Come on, get it in. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh man, he's right here. Oh. Oh, and he popped right off. Oh my god. Oh no no no. Down. Don't you go down the hole. Don't you go down the hole. Don't you go down the hole. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh guys. <laughs> oh man. Lake Simcoe. This guy came up, no joke, five feet for this bait. Good fish. We're gonna let him go. We're gonna let him go guys. Um, swim another day. Oh, yes, yes, that is interesting, guys. So, here's what I was using, and that was dead sticked five feet. I just left it there five feet, and he just came up like I, I was pulling the aqua view out just to see what the bottom was and he just he came up he just came up and grabbed it that's wicked all right guys we're just about to pack it up one fish a day because we only got a few hours i think that i think that i probably could have put more on the ice had i figured this out sooner uh and and clued into what those fish want i think the big huge takeaway for me today was uh fishing the fish how they want to be fished if that makes sense I was fishing these fish like they were, I don't know, slow, lethargic, you know, uh, and and not chasing, not active. Changed it up, started catching fish. Um, so yeah, guys, just take away with this. Keep trying. Try all kinds of different things, all kinds of different baits, uh, and, and find what those fish want. Don't take three days to catch a fish like I did. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below.